Hey guys, Kathy Bullock here, and today we are going to see how to enter a listing into FMLS and Georgia MLS. So I am logged into FMLS, and I'm now going to go to Products and to Remind. Now once I am in Remind, I'll come down to the bottom and hit Add Edit and once that loads up so I will be entering into Remind and I'm going to come over here to the very top and hit create listing now once I come into here it's literally going to be filling in the boxes whether it's a single family a property type it's detached I always say no on registered and I'm going to hit next now this is where you're going to be able to completely link your two MLSs and if it's not allowing you to do this, typically it's because you're not completely signed into Georgia MLS. So I do always like to have FMLS up in my browser and Georgia MLS up in my browser to help this move along. Now I'm gonna hit next. So now I'm gonna start to search for the property and what's nice about this is as it's starting to search for the property, it's actually going to show you the owner. Okay, so you can click on it so you can confirm. Again, this is going to be coming down, literally just filling in all of the boxes, making sure anything with a red asterisk has been completed. And you'll notice sometimes like county was picked up by FMLS, but for some reason, Georgia MLS did not pick it up so I'm just going to add that in there. This is literally a test of patience making sure that you have everything that you need. Okay, Literally just coming down, subdivision, and then I'm going to hit next. Okay, Now again making sure that I have all of the asterisks filled in. Oops. This is for Georgia MLS, so this is actually going to be your login. Okay, once I have completed this information, oh, it's asking me for when this is going to list contract date. Now, it will not let you choose a future date. So if I tried to come over here, uh, it tells me that the list contract must be the same date as today. So this is something that you cannot necessarily do, just so you know, when it does go live, it will actually show the date that the contract date okay then also looking at the expiration date making sure that you're putting this in there correctly because that can hurt you down the line uh, if you if it expires or anything like that trying to get it removed from the MLS's okay confirm listing information once you confirm this information you will be unable to go back to it and change anything unless you delete and start over again. So that's actually very important to remember that. Again, this is not going to be anything really difficult. The hardest part about this is actually making sure that all of the boxes are completed and you know exactly what to put in these boxes. That is going to be the hardest part for you. Okay and having all of this information. Again, you can just keep going through and completing your information. And a lot of times over here on the left hand side you will notice that I have green for some places, I have red for some places. So as you're going through this, 
if everything is not green, you will have to go back to the section and complete it again, okay? Now, you have a couple different choices at the very end of everything. You can either go into review mode, and I can save this as incomplete, or I'll be able to go active. I can also preview what the listing is going to look like. If I'm showing that I have errors, I can come here and hit the view errors section, okay? Now typically, I always save my incomplete so that I know exactly what I'm doing and I can go back and then fill out all of these things that are completely wrong. And you can kind of see here where I'm getting those red boxes if I have items that are incorrect. Okay, so now that it's a saved incomplete listing, I could come back here to the add edit again, and I can go into my incomplete, and there's that listing. Now there is a section that you will upload your photos, there's section for all of the private comments, the public comments, and it will literally tell you everything. I will tell you that copy and paste is going to become your best friend. Now, once you actually do have this listing go live, if you were able to connect your MLSs, you will be live on both platforms, FMLS and Georgia MLS. The biggest thing to know is when you come to Georgia MLS, you will still have to come in to Paragon, go to listings, go to your listings, and then you will come and maintain your listing. You will find your listing that is active, and you will have to go and load your photos in there, okay? The photos do not come over from FMLS. You will have to double load your photos. Now, if for some reason you were unable to get your MLSs to connect to each other, log into Georgia MLS, come in here and go to Ditto. And you're going to say, where do you want to send the listing? Georgia MLS. I would look up the listing number or I can look up by the address. Now, if you just finished entering it into FMLS, I suggest that you give it 10 minutes so that it has time to feed over here. And you again, you can look it up by the listing number or you can look it up by address. Now, if for some reason you're not finding things, you can start with a blank form. I'm just going to caution you that sometimes if there's just a slight hiccup, it may not make it over as fast as you're working. Give it a few minutes, keep trying the listing number or the address till you find it. Again, it's going to be following through on the boxes, making sure that you have everything, uploading your photos, and then you will be listed in Georgia MLS and FMLS. Just as a side note, within 24 hours, your listing will then be on Keller Williams listing service. So typically it goes FMLS, straight to Georgia MLS, and then within 24 hours, it will be on Keller Williams listing service, Zillow, Realtor, all of the national syndicate listing services. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please reach out if I can help you in any other way.